There's a whole slew of weird, disturbing, unnatural, and just downright gross kids content here on YouTube. But in this video, I want to look at some backrooms videos that are just strange. Videos that take something like the backrooms and twist it and warp it to market it for little children, exposing them to these weird themes and weird imagery and just... Just whatever this is, I, what is this? In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of these channels, and I'm going to be exposing the weird side of kids' backrooms content on YouTube. So when a topic on the internet blows up, it's pretty obvious that people are going to grab onto it and use it for money. You know, the, the buzzwords fly around, things get big, it's a trend. You're going to see hundreds of YouTubers using it uh, for the, the money and for that kind of stuff. It's, all, it's just how YouTube works. It's always been that way. But something I never thought I would see is when the name and the, the concept and the intellectual property of the back rooms being used in this strange way. So the first thing I want to talk about in this video is a channel that a lot of you have probably seen yourselves. It is the Built by Gamers channel. Built by Gamers is a podcast style of short form content. I say podcast very lightly because it's one of those like fake podcast things where they're they're over exaggerated talk and they're like, yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? And then the other person responds with like, yeah. The format of these videos is always the same. One of the people starts off by saying a crazy buzzword factor. Like, did you know you can go on vacation in the back rooms? Then the other guy pans over to him and he's like, whoa, man, really? That's crazy. So it's, you kind of get the gist of it. The topic is obviously oriented for a younger audience because they use very simple words and very simple phrasing and everything like that which is okay you know it's fine to be kid friendly but where it gets really crazy is how they construe and misappropriate the the lore and then the truth the, the just basic truth of what the material is so let's get into three shorts that i want to go over right here and the first one here is is not half bad it's actually just it's actually pretty decent, but I want to get you to understand what we're go what we're dealing with here, okay? The backroom's exit was recently found. Nah, come on. The backroom's exit was recently found. Nah, come on, bro. bro. You know the entities that lurk the backrooms, right? Like monsters? Yes. Some of the entities have killed people, but they're not even the biggest threat. What do you mean? Remember, there's no food, no water. No food, no water. Like damn. And like, yes, but you can't consume it. It's not safe. Mainly true. Die from true. True. True and starvation but have you noticed where are the bodies where do they go oh man okay this creeps me out see this like fake banter they have going back and forth it's like what is this dog what the theory goes to talk about level zero the carpet is wet and damp and apparently according to this theory that the carpet absorbs its victims when they die so yeah that's all the short is that's the first one i'm going to show you but as you can see it's definitely this just over dramatized look at a, at a theory of of where do people go when they die in the back rooms now on the top of it you you know you can kind of just see what they're going for this kind of wow factor type deal but this one is good this is a decent short from them oh. I say good, but it's it's okay. You know, that's a real theory on what happens to people in level zero. That's that's a that's a thing. But let's get into something that isn't real, uh, because this is where you can kind of start to see the cracks in built by gamers. SCP Foundation is real. Okay, so the title of this short is Where to Find the Back Rooms, but the first two seconds say the SCP Foundation is real. Let's see what it says. Isn't that just a Roblox game? <laughs> Isn't that just a Roblox game? I mean, this dude literally just like dunked on millions of fans of the SCP Foundation. I mean, how 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 much do you feel when this guy just you know constricts you to being a Roblox game SCP fans? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> That's embarrassing. No, SCP is like the Men in Black. They research objects. Oh, SCP is like the Men in Black. Don't follow the rules of reality. Real entities. Okay. Yeah. There's a theory that they work out of Area 51. So the back. No, there's not. That's that's not a theory. That's not a theory. They don't work out of Area 51. How does the backrooms tie into this? We got SCP. We got Area 51. The backrooms. Backrooms are actually real. Well, listen. So the backrooms are real. So how did he get from a, the SCP Foundation works at Area 51? Then the next sentence he says, "So the backrooms is real." There is a guy named Bob Lazar. He claimed he worked just south of Area 51 at a place called S4. This facility is hidden in the mountains. What's in there, brother? We have gone from the SCP Foundation to the backrooms to Area 51 to now Bob Lazar in, in approximately 15 seconds. It's like they're using all the buzzwords that they can find 
to keep people like engaged in this but let's see what they have to say this facility is hidden in the mountains what's in there bizarre technology new element bizarre weather technology. controlling devices but even machines that are out of this reality this okay. this came from somewhere else i mean as bizarre as that is to believe but i mean it's there i saw it i know what the current state of the art is and in in physics and it's it can't be done so the short ends with a bob lazar interview from real life saying that there was weird technology in there. Zero times in this video was the back rooms mentioned or expounded upon. It literally was just mentioned for one second when the dude said, so Area 51 is the back rooms, with no correlation to anything else in the video. Again, this is the first example of the buzzword, the back rooms being used in, in content that's obviously made for just kids. But wait, it gets worse somehow. We're not even done, and it's getting worse already. The back rooms don't go on forever. Wait, what do you mean? The back rooms so, don't go on forever. found themselves trying to escape the level called the end, but it's a trick. It's actually okay. an endless loop. So then how do you escape? Well, okay. So first off in the first five seconds, he's not wrong. The end, like the library, is a fake ending. That's not the actual exit. And it kind of is like a looping, you know, crazy thing that it makes you go through. Let's see what else is going to expand upon real quick in the next 30 seconds. Well, there's a bookshelf that will no-clip you to a spiral staircase. No, there's but not. if you see a red, blue, but even green door, you better choose wisely. A red, blue, or even green door. Let's, let's see for a second if that's the case, shall we? Let's just do this and let's do red door. Okay. Green door. Okay. Blue door. Very interesting how that doesn't exist and they just made that up completely for no reason whatsoever besides making random intrigue that doesn't need to be there. What's behind the doors? So each color represents a fear that you'll have to overcome to okay. escape. Behind the red door, you'll have to swim across a sea of spiders. The blue door, you'll have to escape a maze with walls no, so tight you they press against you, making it difficult to breathe. But also, the ceiling is so low, you have to army crawl your way out. So I'm guessing the green door is a massage then, right? No, actually, it's the worst. So, as you can see there, they end the short off with not even answering what the green door is. He said the green door is the worst. Didn't tell us what it was. This video has like 12 million views. What what, what, what are you doing here, Built by Gamers? What is this? This makes no sense. I mean, this makes no sense at all. You get like the first five seconds uh, and then yeah, like you just start de derailing. I don't know, which, I don't know what, the, what the point of this is. But let's check out one final short from them. The one that really caught me uh, off guard and kind of put me onto their content. This one is um, my least favorite one. You could take a vacation to the back room. Vacation? You can take a vacation to the back room. Let's see where this goes. I'm telling you, level 37 is the most peaceful level. You're talking about the pool rooms. Yeah, okay. it's relaxing. Everything's right. Everything's right so far. Level 37, pool rooms, okay? Rooms. Yeah. It's relaxing, no entities, but even the water's drinkable. Dude, stop. The pool room is not peaceful. There's entities. No, I'm pretty sure there's just lifeguards and swimmers. Yeah, there is lifeguards and swimmers, but there's a danger zone that has an entity called a glitched in. A glitched in? Yeah, so it's a neon skeleton with metal arms it can hear you from anywhere but also the glitching is a fan-made creature i will so say you so. won't be able to hear it coming so basically dead silence <laughs> yeah but that's not the only issue there's only three ways to escape what was bro laughing at it's not the only issue there's only three ways to escape. oh only three ways to so escape the first okay. way is the easiest find the cylinder shaped staircase and you're out okay and the second way people usually escape by accident isn't there exits in the dark areas yeah there is but the third way is the absolute hardest okay, what's the hardest oh they're not going to tell me what the hardest is because uh, that doesn't exist. There's six exits to the pool rooms, not three, and none of them are what they said. Yeah, the glitch is like a fan-made creature, so I kind of understand like where they're getting that from. But like the other stuff, like there being a ton of entities, like there being a swimmer and a lifeguard entity, like that doesn't, like that's not real. That doesn't make any sense. And even even if it's like a fan-created, you know, addition to the lore. That still doesn't make any sense. Obviously, it's being used to like kidify and kind of lower the entry level to to watching this content. The thing about these shorts from Built by Gamers is they're not even bad quality. They're actually, you know, they're well produced. They're well edited. They're edited fast paced with clicks and sound effects and you know transitions and everything to keep people engaged. And just things like the the over exaggerated like, dude, did you know you can go on vacation in the back room? But where I get the problem with it is is when you just start making up random stuff like this for no reason. Like you could just use the actual stuff and it would be it would be better like I'm, I'm not even one of those people that says like you can't even make your own you know creations in the back rooms everything's fan made but like this doesn't make any sense why would you just make up that for no like what i don't understand help me 
<laughs> so you get the point by now, but their business model seems to be working pretty well because all the shorts that I've gone over have way over a million views each. Like, way, way over. Like I said, they have really good quality, really good editing, but at the end of the day, they're just using buzzwords and, and just these buzz things in the back rooms, like entities and, and, and famous levels to get popularity. It's actually sad to say that I was entertained while watching these shorts. That's how well they're produced. Like, their, their editing is very good. The, the, the fake podcast format is genius. I completely understand why they're doing it. I just want to shed light on what exactly is happening and that they're just, they're doing some sick, like, bastardization of, of the lore that, that we all know and love. But let's move on to a stranger channel. AI generated backrooms videos for kids. So next up is a channel known as Unknown 405. Oh, and then these, these look familiar, don't they? These, these little thumbnails here. They're mine. Anyways, this channel tells of all kind of creepy tales straight from the back rooms, according to their about section. So let's see what they've got cooking. Their thumbnails and video titles look kind of like mine, so I can see they have some good inspiration, at least. Apparently these videos used to be narrated by a real guy, and recently in the past couple months they've transitioned to fully AI, being a robot voice, robot everything else, and For stuff like that. In the back rooms. The channel's most uploaded videos are about party goers and party poopers, with a few of Smilers and Rattlers so far, which are all common entities that are like famous amongst the, the lower age group of the kids in the, in the fandom. That's like the favorite ones, the party goers, party poopers, and Smilers. So it makes sense why those are the most popular. Also, I do want to say on this Smiler and Frowner and Rattler video, the most liked comment with a hundred likes says, who came here because they thought it was a Brugly video. LOL. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. The videos on this channel are overrun with just like overdone clicking effects, transitions, boom, pop sound effects, and there's just overall sense of just dopamine overflow. Under class two in entity hazard, which are all typical tropes of children's based content. And the channel now becoming, you know, fully AI and, and robot voice and everything like that. And the script seems just very like disingenuine. There's just like no, there's no, you know, joy in it or anything. It just adds more to that like farm type vibe the content farm but they're definitely taking inspiration from my thumbnails so what's that about buddy huh but yeah this one's less of an offender but they do still kind of twist the lore in their own way to kind of wrap everything around party goers and party poopers but it's definitely less of a you know slap in the face of the community than the the built by gamers but the next channel is even stranger and it's 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 worse it, it straight up is and kids should not be watching it Stop motion style backroom animations. So stop motion style animation is a big problem in the Elsa Gate scandal. It was very common for there. And here it is being common in, in this backrooms gate kids content stuff. This channel is named Entity like just just entity and the channel is based solely around one entity inside the back rooms which is the the bone thief entity it's a very common one it's a fan favorite honestly but every video is a found footage you know claymation stop motion style animation of the entity getting into all sorts of mischief and danger like this one entitled grimace kills bone thief with a mcdonald's milkshake interesting title uh that's that's kind of crazy and it's that's weird but off the bat I want you to see this video has 100,000 views, but only 600 likes and 15 comments. How much of this interaction is like real or, or is like a real account? Or is this botted? Is this just kids with no account watching? Like, w how is this getting this many views with no traction? I don't understand. The animation itself, again, the production value and the animation itself is very well done. Like, it's good. It's good quality. The problem is the themes in the video are are gross. Like, I don't think kids should be watching this. This entire entity channel throws real life things like McDonald's or cartoon characters or Grimace or, you know, Choo Choo Charles or Poppy Playtime into the back rooms with a bone thief entity to get the best of both worlds with the buzzwords. You get the famous character buzzword and you get the back rooms buzzword. I mean, they even have a bone thief ex skibbity toilet. and a Bone Thief x Choo Choo Charles. They even have a Happy Meal x Bone Thief video. All these weird animations are just displayed and titled in a way that just pull in kids. 
I mean, that's what they do. The thing, like I said before, none of the videos have real interaction. This video right here has 353,000 views, but only 22 comments. A typical video that has that many views from me has over a thousand comments and over and over seven or eight thousand likes. So, I mean, as you can see right there, the proof is in the pudding. Kids are watching these videos and it's disgusting. Just a very strange channel that is using the back rooms as well as other popular figures um, for clicks. Weird collaboration animations. So next I want to draw your attention to a huge channel called Game Tunes, which is known for having kid-friendly like parodies and collaborations in animation format. They'll do things like movies and shows and video game characters and even Mr. Beast apparently with these weird collabs with each other. But not even a wholesome parody animation channel could say no to the backroom's milk cow uh, because how, how can you not, you know? This video, for example, Rainbow Friends versus the Backrooms. Rainbow Friends. If you don't know what Rainbow Friends is, it's a very popular game over on Roblox. It's actually pretty fun. Yes, I'm 21, but Rainbow Friends is a very popular game. Hundreds of thousands of people play it all the time. The Backrooms is a very popular thing. They mash them together. Game Tune sees the, the, the benefit of that, and I mean, you can see what they're going for. I mean, this video itself has 2 million views in just 3 months. Like, that's actually ridiculous. That's insane. Wow. Now, I do give Game Tune some props because they their entire channel is parodies. They've done it from the beginning. And it's not just the backrooms. You know, they do this about everything. So, in a way, it's not necessarily exploiting just the backrooms, but they do it in several different ways, like adding Rainbow Friends to the backrooms. Like, why, why is that necessary? And why, why is it like this over-dramatized thing? I understand that there's going to be content for kids on YouTube. That That's what YouTube Kids is for. Why are you taking something that's so popular with, with kids on Roblox and shoving it with the backrooms? Like, that just seems like an unnecessary reach, again, for the buzzwords. The good thing about this that I will also give them credit for is there's no, like, weird, like, like beating or, like, dying things like there was in the, in the Bone Thief thing or in the other ones, but it's obvious what they're doing. Yeah, it's, you're not, you're not surprising anybody that's, it's older than 15, and I thought everybody should know what's going on over there disturbing VR backrooms content. So VR content in general has a massive following on YouTube. Like it's, it's huge. It's entertaining to watch mostly, and it can even be funny sometimes, rarely. But recently there's been this huge rise in videos like this. We found Missy Kissy in the back rooms. Bro, like, like what, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing? What is this? This video, once again, is like the Game Tunes channel that are meant to bring fans of games and then fans of the back rooms and put them together in this, this buzzword central thing and just get the videos to blow up. And they do. They have hundreds of thousands of views and, the, and tons of people watch. Again, and this video doesn't have that much traction though it has hundreds of thousands of views but only like a hundred comments also this specific video is disturbing it literally shows these two people torturing a missy kissy with a variety of like tools while in in the back rooms i guess they, they have like bats and axes and they're literally just smashing her head and throwing her up from high high drops and stuff like what what is the why why is this a thing and why is this being marketed this way why is this being shown to kids? Like, I'm sure it has no negative bad effects totally at all, seeing one of their favorite game characters just being beaten and tortured to death constantly in the back rooms. And it's not just this channel. Like, I don't want to just call out this one channel. There's tons of channels that do, like, the, the VR backrooms, Poppy Playtime, VR backrooms, FNAF. Like, why? And inside of it, you'll just see the people just killing these entities, like, beating them and stuff. And yeah, like the backrooms is like creepy pasta, but when you're gonna have a creepy pasta, don't market it to children. Don't make one of their favorite, typically mundane games involved in this. Like leave, leave it out, you know? It's obvious again that these thumbnails and these these buzzwords are being used to draw in the kids because the kids are the biggest group on YouTube. And it's it's just a weird thing to do, bro. It, it's just, it's intended for kids. It, it, it's just weird. It, it's straight up strange and disturbing. Missy Wissy doesn't have a place in the back rooms being strapped to a table and chopped in half. You know, that's not that's not a thing. That shouldn't exist, bro. And finally for the video, weird real life backrooms content. So over the years of me doing YouTube, I've, I've definitely come across some strange real life backrooms content. But the weirdest one that I've ever come across is entitled, If you ever see bloody hazmat people in the back rooms, run and hide fast. They are bad. First of all, from the title, you can you can see what they're going for. 
the, that's that's a kid title, right? That's that's the drawing children. So the video is a group of people from the Stromedy channel, which is a acting and like real life, like kind of role playing channel, but they do like acting and that kind of thing. It's for entertainment purposes. And they make that clear. I'll give them credit. They make it clear it's for entertainment purposes. But this specific video has the group in an empty office building with a buzzing sound added in post production. Uh, it's a makeshift level zero. They're not even CGI. It's just a, it's a it's a building with like a yellow filter. It's obviously fake. But again, to give them credit, their channel is an acting channel. But that doesn't change the fact that they're still making this with the hopes of, of pulling in younger aged people. It's, it's obvious. The acting, the commentary, the title, the thumbnail, everything is obviously built for that. But I kind of have to throw their kudos out the window when you watch through the video and you see like bacteria being edited in for like no reason like this. What's what's the purpose of that? Why is why was bacteria in this? You could have just not. Now, this clip is just a small snippet of the entire movie that they made. Apparently, this crew made a movie. Um, let's see where if we can find it. Alright, Stromedy Squad, and that is the end of the free portion. If you guys want to watch the full movie, click the link in the description to join Stromedy members. You're going to get access to the full Backrooms movie, as well as the entire catalog of other members' movies available. Okay, so the movie is behind a paywall. Cool, but that's not the worst of it. These videos are, are specifically made for kids, and this channel is made for kids either, but this channel it literally just doesn't ever do Backroom stuff. But this is probably the worst offender that I've seen, I gotta be real. This is this is pretty cringy. Again, cringy. Is, it's relative. Some people might like it. Not my cup of tea. And I definitely think it's being um, exploitive, especially when it comes down to having the sound effects and the title and the screaming inside and like just the random like and just the random movements of the cameras. It all feels like really erratic, like kids content. You can't you can't just sit back and watch it. So many buzzwords being said. So many just random like it just it's so strange. If you want to watch it, you can. It's weird. I don't know about it. It's strange. And again. These backrooms real life videos rack up millions of views. Also, I kid you not, the last three minutes of this specific video is literally a self promo for the membership that he's selling to access the full movie of the backrooms. Like three entire minutes of him saying like, peace, peace. Well, not really, I'm about to see you on the member section, so peace for five minutes. Stromedy Squad, stop right there. Before you click away, I know this video is over, but it doesn't have to be. If you guys join the Stromedy channel membership, you can get access to so many more videos that only channel members are able to watch. Check out all these crazy members-only videos that you can watch. You'll know if somebody's a member because they'll have this epic purple star next to- I, I mean, I gotta respect that, kinda. I mean, three minutes of, a, of an 18-minute video? What? Again, I don't, that's not even the worst thing. The worst thing is just, I mean, a title like that, if you ever see bloody hazmat people in the back rooms run and hide fast, they are bad. Then the, the edits, the sound effects, the buzzing, like, this is just, this is bad. This is bad. At least Game Tunes was like, is a purposeful kid animation channel. This is, just, what are you doing? Well, what's happening? Again, there's no hate. I just don't understand what's happening or why it's happening. Also, this is the last thing, this is the last channel I came across, but I found this guy who literally copied my exact thumbnail for my for my Backrooms Explained video. Bro, like, what are you what are you doing? You didn't even change the, the thought or the title or anything. It's literally, did you just, like, download my thumbnail, bro? What are you doing, brother? So in this video, I've talked about weird, fake Backrooms podcasts, AI-generated videos, weird collabs between Backrooms and video game and actors and everything like that, weird Backrooms games with Choo Choo Charles and Poppy Playtime and VR stuff and some really off-putting real-life content as well. Again, finally, you know, don't go attacking these people. I just want you to see the weird, like, exploitative side of the backrooms and how people are using that buzzword of mainly, you know, Kane Pixel's popularity has brought so many people into the fandom, and people saw that, and they're, like, using the buzzwords to, to get people in to click the videos with these weird themes, like that VR video, and the podcast videos making up random stuff just to be, like, more intriguing, and the real-life content with, like, the weird bacteria edits. Like, all that stuff is not normal, and that's just it's meant for the, the kid audience using the the name of something that's not for you know technically kids the, the back rooms is a scary place and they're using that name in a way to draw kids in and and exploit them in a way i try to avoid the word exploiting but it, i mean when you see stuff like this 
what what is this bro i just wanted to bring a light to this strange side of the kidified side of the backroom's lore, the kidified everything, people taking a concept and warping it into this overly marketable kid central thing for clicks. It's working for these people, and I'm not sure if there's been a concept so heavily marketed before like this. Like, I can't really name any other things that are using like the backroom's buzzwords and stuff so heavily, except in things like Elsa Gate, like Elsa and Spider Man. Elsa gets pregnant. Okay, like Bone Thief dies to Grimace. It's like the same thing. And it's, it's so weird that this is existing. It's, to me, it's just so, so strange. And I just, like I said, wanted to shed a light on it. And I wanted to shed that everything is, it's, it's happening. It's, it's real. It's definitely a real thing. And maybe, maybe try to avoid it. But again, I don't, I don't spread hate on the channel. I don't spread anything like that. I just wanted to make you aware. There is a place for kid-friendly content uh, because there's those kids that, that watch videos, but it changes completely when you take advantage of that by using those buzzwords. Again, go check out Raymundo's Elsa Gate video if you want to know more about other kids' content. That video is fantastic. Go sub to him as well. He's such a cool dude. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. This is like just a one-off video. This is I I don't I normally don't make videos like this, but I I, I feel like I needed to um, in a certain way. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video.